Lights, camera, action! Oh, fam. So this is the dumb shit that I gotta go through. Have to replace a light bulb in the kitchen. I went to Target the other day and I bought some light bulbs. I go to swap out the light bulb in the kitchen and it turns out that it's one of these light bulbs that has like the two prongs at the bottom. This is what I get for not checking before I bought the light bulbs. <laughs> so now I'm on my way to Target to see if I can exchange these bulbs for bulbs like these. There are times when you need someone. I will be by your side. I take my chances before they pass. So a very good friend of mine, very dear friend, passed away recently. And I've just been fucked up over it for like the past week. I just haven't been like in a good headspace. I just been very unfocused, very uh, demotivated. And I got asked to write his obituary. You know, it's just like, hey, you know, we'll get you like all the information or whatever. But, you know, if you could do that, that would be cool. And I was like, okay. And, you know, I... <laughs> I don't know why I agree to it. I mean, I know why I agree to it. Uh, obviously, you know, um, this was this was my boy. Like he was, he really was. Like you know, like one of my best friends, one of my brothers. And you know, I I was just like, yeah, you know, if, by doing you know this, by writing the obituary, that is one way that I could honor him. But you know, like as time went on, and the more I just really had time to kind of like sit with the idea of doing that, really kind of like absorb what was asked of me. I just became less and less sure that I wanted to do it. So of course they don't make it easy for you. You can't just do an exchange. You have to return the item and then find and buy the item that you want. And of course the type of bulb that I need is not in stock despite it saying uh on the app that it was in stock oh wow no i take that back they only come in singles this is wild to me they only come in singles all right well at least i've got this one but now here's the frustrating thing <laughs> Self-checkout is closed in the middle of the day, so. So thankfully that was surprisingly painless. I was able to get online like right away and just check out right away. And then she closed as soon as I left, as soon as she was done with me. <laughs> but what a fucking nightmare. What a nightmare. And like, I didn't, I didn't even write an obituary for my mother, you know, when, when when she passed away, it was mostly because I thought that, you know, uh, her funeral was going to be a much smaller affair than it actually ended up being. So just didn't, you know, we just didn't do anything like that. And again, <laughs> death fucks me up. And, you know, my mom's passing certainly like fucked me up. And I was the only person who had to deal with that, you know, had no real help from anyone. So, so there was that. So yeah, when I was asked to write my boy's obituary, I agreed to it. But as you know, the week has gone on, I was just like, I, I, I honestly can't. And uh, you know, the th everything is coming up, you know, uh, uh, quickly, you know, uh, there's like a one kind of like, you know, celebration of life that's taking place in one city. And then, you know, the actual kind of like funeral is taking place in another city. Right now, I don't know if I'm going to be able to attend either of them. It's very likely that I'm not going to be able to. So that's another thing that's kind of like, and uh, yeah, they hadn't, um, you know, gotten like all the information to me. And, uh, you know, I'm just looking at the dates of like when everything's happening. So I was just like, hmm. But then one of, uh, one of, my other boys, he hit me up and he was just like, are you still up for it? And I just, I had to be honest with him. I was just like, I'm not in the right frame, frame of mind to, to tackle that. 
because of everything that's, you know, that's going on. And it's, it's not just my boy's death, you know, it's, you know, there's other stuff that's happening in my life. And just with all that, I'm just like, you know, it's kind of like I mentioned in the previous video, that feeling of depression, uh, uh, that lack of motivation has just got me not wanting to do anything. Like, I'm even surprised that I'm I'm shooting this. I'm just like, you know, I, I was like, oh, you know, I made that pledge to get out these videos, you know, every day. And already day two, I'm just like, damn, do I want to do this? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I just, I had to tell him, I was just like, you know what, I, I don't think that I can. And was just like, you know, uh, I told him I didn't think that I was going to be able to like attend the funeral or anything. And I was just like, yeah, it's typical Jay, fucking disappointment to the people in my life. He did post though, he posted um, my boy who I talked to about the obituary. Shout out, Kay. He did post something like on his Instagram story. And the thing, the thing about what he posted is that it's something that he's even like talked about and mentioned before, where he was just like, he doesn't know when we'll ever all get together again and hang out as like a crew. <laughs> you know, yeah, life happens. People have families, this, that, and the other. But, you know, it's like we're not, we haven't been making time for each other. And, you know, I've got my excuses and I, f I feel a way. <laughs> Um, about this because I sure wish I made some different decisions and, and just kind of like positioned myself better. I've just done some dumb shit that coupled with, you know, circumstance has, you know, landed me in the position that I'm in, but he's just absolutely right. It's just like, you know, we, we, we haven't really put that effort into like spending time with each other you know, oh, we do the, you know, group chat or whatever, but actually like visiting each other, hanging out, taking trips, you know, hanging out with each other's families and, and, and all this stuff. Like we, we haven't, we haven't done that. And, you know, it's like these major milestones, uh, these life events happen and, um, and, and we're not there for each other. And I know I'm one of the biggest offenders. Uh, I call myself coming out to LA chasing this dream. I mean, hell, my entire life, you know, I've called myself chasing this dream and I have kind of, I, well, I have sacrificed, you know, like the trips, the birthdays, the holidays, the marriages, the funerals. And the thing that he posted on Instagram was like, you know, we think we have time and that couldn't be for, you know, further, further from the truth. You know, we don't have time and we need to be mindful of this. I am hoping... <laughs> that my current situation will improve or change or something, something's got to give so that I am able to make the time. All right, I have returned home with the bulb and everything else. Let me go ahead and put this bitch up here. <laughs> All right, I hope that that does not fall and break because I can't, <laughs> I can't. <laughs> Cheers.